Hey there guys, welcome to another Train Sim Classic video. Uh, the recently released Rio Grande Southern hit the Steam Store for Train Sim Classic uh, about a week ago from Milepost Simulations. Uh, and a few things were noted from people that bought the route, played it, had fun with it. I certainly am having a bit of fun with it myself. Um, but it's a nice little route. If you'd like to see an entire kind of overview, I'll pop a link in the top right hand corner if you want to take a look at that. But this is going to cover a patch or a fix or update to the route, uh, mainly the rolling stock that Milepost has created uh, himself and has already pushed to Dovetail to get it published onto the Steam store. But in the meantime, he has graciously added a link where you can go and download it and install it for yourself. And if you want to do that, I'll link it down below and show you how to pop it in there as well. It's very, very easy. So one of the things that was touched up uh, is some of the, the texturing as far as numbering. I think it's had something to do with the number nine. Uh, the texture on that has been fixed. Um, there was a light. Let's go ahead and click on it here. So when you opened the, uh, yeah, we're rolling. I got a I got a heavy train here. Let me go ahead and throw some air down right quick here. Yep, a little bit, a little bit. Maybe just slow down a little bit here. There we go. All right, good deal. So there was an issue before where when you opened the uh, the firebox here, um, light emitted after it was closed. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it and close it. And see now it darkens again. It did stay lit. But it actually stays darkened now. Uh, something else that was added is uh, something I'm very thankful for. A new whistle. Now, I think he got that from Michael Cam because uh, when you update the route, uh, it, there's, I noticed there was an update to the manual, so I went and took a look at the manual, and then I saw Mike Cam, a fan railer's name down at the bottom. Uh, that sounds a lot more appropriate. It's better than the old whatever the hell that was. Uh, I think the PRK4 whistle or something like that. It sounds like a, a single or double, maybe. I don't. I don't know. I hardly know horns, uh, let alone steam whistles. But that sounds a lot better. It's looped very nicely. It's got that kind of shrill, high-pitchedness to it that these things had, have. Now, if you are kind of quick, feather-fingered on the, on the keyboard, it will kind of stop mid-loop, and you'll kind of hear a pop every now and then, but all things considered, one-to-one, -one, it's, it's pretty good. It's better than it was. That is for damn sure. Something else you'll notice with this patch that's going to go for the root uh, publicly via Steam, which you should get, uh, I'm going to assume, in the next couple of weeks or months maybe, but like I said, you can go and get it now if you want to download it and install it yourself, is the brakes. So before the brakes took an achingly long time to apply or release, now it's so, so much quicker. Uh, for the sake of view, I'll put on the F5 HUD, should be in the top left hand corner there if you can see it. So you can see train brake 62% hold lapped. I'm just going to go ahead and dump it all. And the loco brake. It happens very quickly now. Let's go ahead and add some more. And then we'll dump it again. See the needle there, the gauge in the middle? It's much quicker. Now, I don't know that that's a million percent prototypical. But uh, it's a lot nicer in the game because when you're going down one of them heavy-ass grades uh, or up it uh, and you're coming across the other side of it, you, you need your brakes. So that was nice. That was touched up as well. Uh, something else that was uh, touched up is the cutoff or the reverser. So before, it was kind of just 
is kind of just there. It didn't really do much, so I'm going to start off. We're going to do like 75. Got the brakes dropped. We're already rolling, obviously. I'm going to add a little chug, a little chug juice, a little more. Start slowing us down. So the cutoff, a.k.a. reverser, uh, actually does something now. Uh, so that was tweaked as well. And I've got auto fireman off for what it's worth. I generally use it because I am a steam engine pleb. Uh, it is very difficult for my uh, pea brain to understand uh, operating a steam locomotive. And so it's generally easier. But therein lies kind of the problem with auto fireman is the way that it's scripted. Yes, it does help in a lot of cases. Uh, and even some developers have, have scripted their locomotive to work with it better, uh, if you will. But uh, JL, a.k.a. Milepost, recommends you don't use the auto fireman, if at all possible, uh, because apparently the injectors can get stuck open, uh, and just all kind of weirdness happens. So as you can see now, I have no safety valve, just pissing in the wind. It's starting now, obviously, but got some black smoke, so it's very thick. We're chugging. I'm going to drop the cut off about 60. Add some more chug juice. How much nicer is that whistle? Woo! Let's go down here and listen at it. We'll go down about a creek. Trying to find some gold nuggets. So it does have the, uh, what is it called? Doppler, the fancy word. I mean, you can hear that sucker echoing through the valley there. That's nice. And then we'll just run right at it. Here we go. Gonna hold it down right at it. <laughs> See, it's, I admit it sounds a little weird doing it like that with a camera. But uh, it, it seems to feel a little bit better to operate. I'm going to go ahead and give it some more chug juice. Uh, you are going to need to use sand with this thing as well. Uh, practice makes perfect. I am not perfect, not by any means at operating this thing, not by a long shot, uh, but I'm trying because I find this route very enjoyable, relaxing. It's absolutely gorgeous scenery-wise, and it's a nice rolling stock too. Could could be a little sharper, um, you know, all things considered, but it's it's not a bad product overall, uh, as far as I'm concerned. Got one in the back as well. So they do work tandem, BT dubs. But uh, if I had my way, one thing that I'm not crazy about is the the firebox reflection. Let me just pause it. Did you see like under the tender here? I do not like that at all. Uh, I feel like it's just a little, I don't want to say cheesy or campy. Um, but it's, you know, I get it. I get why it's there. It just doesn't look that great. And I feel like personally it would look a bit better without it overall. But anyway, yeah, so your cutoff actually does some stuff now. That has been updated. So not only that, uh, some more consists were added to uh, quick drive as well. So let's go take a look at those. All right, here's your quick drive. So, of course, like most quick drives, you're going to need to go choose the, uh, the train set or locomotive. So there's your DNR GWK27 right there. And just a few things here. So you got boxcar times 10, 122 tons. And that's nice as well because in the manual it notes what you can pretty much officially pull uh, if you want to get across grades. Uh, so do take a look at the manual. It's there for a reason. Manifest, 10 car sets mix, 14 car mix manifest, 5, 8 stock car, and stock car as well. Uh, so those have been added too. So a nice, uh, you know, not just bug fixes, but new extra things as well. So that's very good, especially when a dev, 
you know, gets on top of something, you know, as quick as they possibly can to, to get out to the public to enjoy uh, for whatever they made. But, uh, all right, so if you want to get the link, if you don't want to wait for it to show up on Steam and you don't want to wait for the, the endless cycle of stuff that Dovetail have to sift through to push stuff out, I'll show you how to go and get this uh, link and get it installed. All right, so as I mentioned a moment ago, if you don't want to wait for the official release, which is going to take ages probably to trickle down from Dovetail into their so-called QA team, uh, and then it'll officially be on Steam, so you literally have to do nothing. If you want it right now and you want to check it out for yourself, and like I said, stuff may change as well. You may add uh, some more things. This is what you're going to need to do to grab it. So you're going to need to get on Facebook. Search up Milepost Simulations if you're not already uh, following him. This is, this is the guy. This is the dev that makes everything that's Milepost Simulations, his official page. And in one of his posts, he has the link, as you can see, down there at the bottom, uh, which is obviously hosted at his official page on the interwebs. Uh, now, with that being said, I'd also like for you to bear in mind, if you're not comfortable with this, if you don't really do stuff like this as far as train sim uh, and downloading files and stuff like that, I am not responsible if you do anything that may damage your files, your computer, whatever, so on and so forth. With that being said, I very recently downloaded this and installed it, no problems. It may get flagged uh, as a, a virus, um, but it's not because you gotta get like a, a clearance type of deal from Microsoft for, for downloads essentially, but uh, you should be okay with it. Just click keep anyway. Um, I don't I don't think JL from Milepost would would put like a Trojan virus within the patch to his route that he's trying, you know, to sell and make nice for everybody. So with that being said, you're gonna need to go get this this link, this download, which is on the Facebook page for Milepost Simulations. Download it and I'll show you how to pop it in. Alright, so again, on the right, I have my main file directory for Railworks. Same spot, same thing on the right-hand pane there. The left-hand side is the file that you download, the Rio Grande Southern Patch 1. It'll say this here, you double-click that, and then you'll see Manuals, Content, Assets. All you'll need to do here is get it all, either, uh, you know, grab it all, right-click, uh, hit Copy, and then you're going to need to go to back to your uh, your your Railworks directory. So I'm going to click that. Now that the Rio Grande Southern route is unpacked, this is how you do it. So from here, I'm actually going to go back to Common. So you're just going to take all this here. I'm going to Control C it and copy it. I'm going to come over to the right hand side. I'm going to right click on Railworks and actually. I'm just going to drag it just to make it easier to see. So here we go. I've got all the uh, the files here. It says three. I'm dragging them over. You're just going to drop them directly into your Railworks directory. Remember, you have to have the AP file unpacked. If you do this without unpacking that AP file, it may not work. So I'm just going to drop it in there. There you go. And it says uh, replace files in the destination. You're going to hit yes to that. It is going to replace those files. And then bam, all that stuff is in there. You now have the patched Rio Grande Southern. That's generally how you put mods in, all that all that same kind of stuff. Very brief. Hopefully it was somewhat helpful. It's nice though that Milepost is already uh, getting patched together for the Rio Grande Southern because it's a nice little route. Uh, but anyway, that's it, guys. Just wanted to show off a few things, what to look forward to if you want to wait for the official update on Steam. Otherwise, you can go and grab that file down below. I'll link it down below as usual. That's it, guys. Take care. I'll see you next time.